Everyone knows that Android gets one big major update every year, but what people don't know is that Android gets a lot of smaller updates via its core apps that bring a number of cool new features. So get ready, update your phones, because I'm going to tell you seven new Android features that are actually useful. So you remember when the Pixel 6 launched last year, it brought real tone to the Pixel camera app and the Google Photos app to make sure that more diverse skin tones are captured more accurately? It's a great feature, but did you know that the real tone feature is now available in a lot more phones? So in Google Photos, just edit a photo, go to filters, and here you can see these new real tone filters. There's Playa, made with real tone, Honey, I Love, Desert, and Clay. I can also tap on a filter to adjust its intensity. Now, this does make a difference. Here are a few photos with and without real tone, and the difference in skin tones is pretty good. Now, this feature is coming to Google Photos on all phones. I'm using it on the S22 Ultra, but it's still rolling out, so check it on your phone and comment if you have it. The next standard feature that I'm going to show you is very, very, very super useful. So Google announced locked folders in Google Photos last year, but it's only recently that it has arrived in almost every single Android phone. With this, I can just go to a photo that I don't want other people using my phone to see, swipe up and move the photo to the locked folder. Now, once you've moved a photo to the locked folder, it won't be bagged up, it won't appear in the photos grid and it won't be visible in search or even when you're accessing the gallery via apps like say WhatsApp or Instagram. So it's actually hidden from everywhere. To access this locked folder, you have to go to the library in the Photos app, scroll down below and there it is. Now you can just use a fingerprint or pin or pattern and access your personal locked photos. You can also add more photos to the locked folder from here. Take photos out of the locked folder if you are being courageous. Delete photos, yeah, do a lot more. I also like that the locked folder automatically locks up in a minute if you just leave it open accidentally. Overall, locked folders is a super useful feature for all the bros out there, I know what you're gonna use it for. So be a good bro and hit that subscribe button. Do not forget the bell icon for the bros. We all make grammatical errors, it's fine, but let's agree on one thing. Don't you hate it when people write your instead of you are? You know who these people are. The good news is Android now has a native grammar checker tool. This works in Gboard, so when you type something grammatically wrong like this, Gboard highlights it and you can just tap on it and fix it. That's all. Reputation restored. Can I get you feeling, baby? This should be useful to a lot of people, especially when writing an email or something official. Now this feature has rolled out to everyone, but if it's not working for you, go to the Gboard settings, go to text correction, and at the end, enable these two options. See, nobody likes a grammar Nazi, but this is one feature that you need to share with your your typing friends. They will hate you, they obviously already do, but at least they'll learn a new feature. Share this video. Moving on, I'm personally not a big fan of stickers, but this is something I like. So I can just message Akshay. I can write, hey, idiot. And as you can see, I'm getting these custom stickers with the same text. So I think this will get my point across really good. So this is once again a Gboard feature and this is very easy to use because I can just type anything, add an emoji suggestion and Gboard automatically creates multiple custom stickers. This means I don't need to go to the stickers page and yeah, that's the biggest convenience. Also, I'm very lazy. I also like the emoji kitchen features which has the new emoji combos for summer, pride month. It's cool. So Lookout is a very useful accessibility feature on Android and it has this explore tab which lets you use the camera to detect the objects in the surrounding and let you know Clothing, couch, table, two people, idiot, couch, table, tripod, television, table. And it's gotten better. It's got a new image tab that is very interesting. Let me show you. This mode basically lets you take any image from your gallery and this will describe it for you. Let me show you. Caption, a view of the city at night, details, tree, road, light fixture, modified at May 2nd, 2022. Yeah, it's not absolutely perfect at the moment, but it's a good new addition to Android's accessibility features. Maybe the portrait mode on your phone sucks. Maybe you just forgot to take the photo in portrait mode. Either way, Google Photos now lets you add a portrait blur manually after you've taken the photo and it's actually pretty good at it. Just take any photo in Google Photos, tap on edit and you'll either get this portrait suggestion which adds the blur automatically or you can go to tools and add the blur manually like this. Now, it's generally very good, but if you feel it's not very accurate around the edges, you can use the depth option and set the blur perfectly. Now, one thing to note here is that this feature is available for Pixel users and also on other phones, but with the Google One subscription. 
which has got a new life with Android 12. And I'm not sure if third party apps are taking things seriously, but Google is making some good widgets. So there's a cool YouTube music widget, the new battery widget, but the coolest new Android widget has to be the digital well-being widget. I know, digital well-being, who cares? Hear me out. The digital well-being widget is actually useful. It has three different sizes and it shows you your total screen time along with the top three apps you have used on the day. This is nice because at least I don't have to check my screen time by going to the settings. This way I have it on the home screen and I can tap here and see all the details quickly. Before I conclude things, I want to give a huge shout out to Trend Micro Security, our sponsors for this video. Trend Micro's premium security suite is the tool you need to secure your PC or Mac and even your Android or iOS devices. That's all, the suite also brings a secure VPN, dark web monitoring, password manager and a personal help desk. The Trend Micro Premium Suite is available for a $59 per year subscription and it covers 10 devices. Plus, you can get a 10% discount by using the code BBOMB10. So, check it out from the link below. Also, check out the subscribe button, check out the like button, check out the comment section. Bro code. Jokes apart, if you have any other new added features that we missed out on, comment down below. And yeah, check things out. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Super affordable 3D pen we got from Amazon. This is a 3D pen I got from Amazon and this...